Issues are bits of work in JIRA, representing all sorts of tasks that are handled at your organization. They might be related to a process, a product, or even a person. It depends on the context of the project and what you need to get done. In this video, we talk about creating and editing issues. Depending on your project template, you might have a couple of different ways to create an issue in JIRA Cloud. The first is to create an issue using the plus sign in the global left sidebar of JIRA. But the more commonly used method is to create an issue on your project's board. Click one of the plus signs in the columns on your board, and you have a simple drop down menu to select the appropriate issue type to represent your work, as well as a space to create the issue summary or title of the issue. Then just click Create. Because of the way the cards are laid out in next gen projects, you can see a pretty long sentence as an issue summary. So don't be afraid to be specific, but also be aware that your issue summary is essentially the title of the issue. So as usual, there's a balance to be struck. Once you create an issue, you can see it on your board. From your board, you can click the card to open an edit screen. And remember the fields you see depend on the project and issue type. So you may see a due date in one issue type on one project, and you may not see that field in the same issue type on another project. It's also good to note that there may be more detailed issue screens out there in the wilds of your JIRA instance. For example, if you use the issue navigator and open an issue, you may see an expanded issue view screen. For now, let's stick to what we see and can access right from our projects and check out the process of editing an issue. On your project's board, click an issue. For example, we click a complaint issue that we need to update. On the edit screen that opens, we can interact in a few ways, including adding an attachment and a link, adding a comment, updating the status, assigning the issue, adding a label, and updating any additional fields. For example, our complaint issue type includes the problem date field. Update any fields you need to update on the issue or add an attachment, link, or comment. For example, we add a comment mentioning Abby Levine and assign the issue to her. As well as editing and adding information on an issue, you can interact with it in a couple of other ways. You can watch an issue if you want updates on the issue in the form of notifications. And this means you'll receive notifications whenever someone adds a file, a comment, or interacts with the issue in several other ways. You can also flag an issue. Add a flag if you want a visual indicator on the issue to tell you about its importance or status. 